So welcome to this walkthrough for Electric Home Piano, and this is a really rare instrument made by Rhodes in 1977. There's only a handful of these ever made. Some people think there's only 25, other people think there's a few more. Either way, it's a really, really difficult instrument to find, let alone get your hands on one that kind of plays well, that plays nicely, that samples well. So we're really, really fortunate enough to find this one. So it's that classic electric piano sound that you all know and love, but it's got this unique vibe and mojo to it that you won't have heard before. So what I'm gonna do is just take you through some of the presets first just so you get an idea of what this sounds like straight away and then we'll go through the whole instrument and you can see exactly what's in there. So you can hear a really rich, warm sound to this electric piano. It's kind of a sound that will be familiar to you, but there's definitely a unique vibe and mojo to it. We'll go on to photocopy next, which is using one of the muted tone bar techniques that we sampled, which I'll talk more about later, but it's basically muting the actual physical metal tone bars inside the piano. Onto the next one called Family Room, uh, and this is kind of like a really warm, dry sound, kind of as it, as it was intended to be used, like a piano that was in the home, just like you might have an old piano now in your home. This was kind of, I think this is what this piano was designed for. So yeah, that's exactly how I'd imagine that piano to sound back in 1977, sat in somebody's home. It's kind of like the centerpiece of their living room, just like a really warm, luscious sound. And just kind of, you know, you've, you've got all the details, you've got all of the uh, sounds of the piano, like right up in front. And it's really dry and really personal thing to play. On to the next one, uh, which is live studio, which is kind of the opposite, which is much more of like a, like using the dis more distant microphones that we recorded and kind of like a much more of an open studio sound. much more of like a live environment, studio environment, that's what that one's for. And then we'll take you on some more of these uh, kind of like experimental presets that we've come up with using the, the textures and, and some of the other things. Uh, so this is warm custard. So moving on from that, this is kind of like the, the, the real extreme of what this thing can do.
So really pushing those sounds. That's about as extreme as the instrument gets. There's plenty of other scope in between the standard electric piano sound and these much more experimental synth-like sounds as well. So there's absolutely loads to play with. Uh, last one is called Running Away. And this again is using one of the shorter articulations that we recorded. that one made using the soft tone bars sound that you've got which again is one of these techniques of hand muting the tone bars to create this short percussive sound really good for fast arpeggiated stars like Steve Reich and those kind of people who are doing these arpeggiated patterns really good for that so let's take you through the whole instrument now just so you've got an overview of exactly what's included and what's what's it capable of so up the top here you've got all of the sound sources that are available to you four of the electric piano sounds and then eight of these textural sounds that we've recorded and these have been crafted from the original source recordings so we've taken the the raw recordings put them through reel to reel cassette decks guitar pedals all sorts of things to create some interesting and unique sounds and each one will feel like part of the same family but in its own unique way and then you've got a texture slider along the bottom here and this slider will completely change the way these sound and each one will respond to this fader differently as well so it's not all just going to do exactly the same thing so just experiment to see what that one sounds like uh, and then across here, you've got the microphone positions, which we've recorded three different microphone positions, as well as some other things as well, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So the electric piano sound, first of all, which you've heard kind of already, but this is what it sounds like. For all the electric piano sound, you've got a vibrato control down here as well. And you can push this quite hard. You can go all the way up to the max. Which isn't that realistic for a normal electric piano, but if you want that effect, it's there. And you can change the speed of it and the depth too. just for those electric piano sounds. Then we've got this uh, soft electric piano sound, which is just the very, very gentlest layer of the, of the piano that we recorded. all the key noises and things like that are coming through. You've got complete control of key noises, pedal noises, and the tone bars as well. So if you don't want any of that kind of those extra clicks and clanks, you can just take those away using the microphone sliders uh, down here. And then we've got these two short articulations that we recorded. So again, just to kind of explain these, what we did was basically every single tone bar that we recorded We've got our hands there on the tone bars, dampening them just precisely, just to the right amount, because each one's resonating slightly differently, just to make them all sound really short. And we've got two versions here. The muted tone bars is like a really short, dampened version. And then the soft tone bars is kind of like a halfway house. So this one first. this one much, much shorter. short and muted really painstaking to do because you're literally holding the tone bar exactly the right amount recording lots and lots of different samples all of the same take so you get lots of round robins there 
and then multiple velocity layers as well. Those two sounds took a long time to record, so I hope you really enjoyed them. Then we've got all these textural sounds here, so I'm just going to play you a few now. Apollo was the first one, and then if I take this slider all the way down, you'll see kind of like the changes that it can make. kind of like a bit more of like a warbly pitch effect that we've got on there. I'll take you through this one next. below if you know where the word breeze comes from for that preset. I'll be interested to see if anybody picks up on that. Uh, Organa's a great one. Again, it's got that feeling of like an electric piano, but it's kind of like been taken into this new space. Uh, Apogee next. that texture slide is doing something really different on each one of these sounds. Uh, let's go to uh, this one next, Tupelo. Really cool. Put like this massive reverb on here. One of these textures is really different to the next one, but they still like feel like they're part of the same family. Uh, Efoc next. a different reverb just to feel what these sound like with a different reverb. You can absolutely change these and, and make them completely your own just by using the different reverbs that we've got. Uh, Wonder next.
hear there eight completely different texture sounds, all completely different to the last one, but they each still feel like they're part of the same family. Each one changeable with this texture fader, and this texture fader responds differently to each one of those as well, so it's not just doing the same thing. And then we're using the reverb, you can create some amazing soundscapes or much more like organic synth-like sounds. So it's up to you how you want to use those. Now, with the electric piano sounds, you've got these mics down here. You've got this production-ready mix, which is the first thing that loads up, and this is using the main microphone positions to do it. And if you didn't want to do anything else, just turn on this and then you've got that to go. Then you've got the individual uh, piano sound, so the pedal, the sustain pedal, then you've got the tone bars themselves, and then you've got the actual kind of like the wooden keys that we re recorded and sampled separately. And then on page two, you've got all of these different sounds as well that we record the actual, you know, individual mic positions. So you've got the cab, which is like a really close up uh, sound the room position, which is kind of like a much more balanced sound of the studio we record in, and then the gallery position as well, which is like a really diffused high up microphone position. And then we've got a tape position as well. Now, unique to this piano, there was a built-in cassette deck. So what we did, <laughs> we like cassette decks here, is we stuck cassettes in while we were sampling it, took all those cassettes, resampled those back in, and then you've got this slider here. We have got our own mix of this in the, uh, in the presets called bootleg, which is using this tape sound. So absolute vibe and mojo, if that's what you're after. And because we put the samples all through the, that tape cassette as they were being recorded, each one of the samples is going through a completely different bit of cassette, through the cassette recorder at a different time, then being played back and sampled back in at a different time as well. So each one of the samples sounds different because it's got a different piece of tape that it's living on. It's not like your whole mix has gone through one piece of tape at the same time and it's all living on that piece of tape at the same time. That's the benefit of doing sampling individually like that is they all sound different they all sound unique so it's really cool to have that available to you so that's all the mic positions uh, there are some alternative mixes we've made using the different mic positions so if you don't want to get involved in mic positions or you're not sure what you're doing that's what those are for uh, as you've seen we've got a few different reverbs here as well that we've recorded and, and made for this instrument you've got fireside which is kind of like that that warm living room sound all the way up to these massive kind of like you know orchestral huge 20 second reverbs that are going to take it into a new completely different space so if I put this like a uh, one of the muted tone bars, use this massive eclipse sound that we've got. This is 20 seconds. It's gonna really pull the sound into a new space and it saves you having to pull up your own plugin. You've got some immediate kind of like effects there to play with. So onto the effects page and you've got the, the reverb that we've already talked about, kind of like a, a nice EQ that can just pull the shape around a little bit, a really sophisticated delay engine and then our trans pitch control. And this is something we do all the time and I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. This is going to start to appear in all our instruments in the future. Is basically pitch shifting samples down and then transposing them back up at the same time by two semitone inc increments. So what you're getting is a sound that feels darker and moodier but is still at exactly the same pitch center so middle C is still middle C etc so if you want to turn this off you just got off and the sounds will sound exactly like they sound and then as you go further down here let's put it onto four all the way down to an octave moody really rich really dark what you'll get is a, a feeling that they're just kind of like slower and darker and it will change the way you play as you could hear there because I was playing an octave 
the samples were being pitched shift down an octave, I was kind of wanting to play slower and more moody and more atmospheric. So that's kind of what it does. With this trans pitch control, you're losing the top kind of notes on the piano. So that's something to bear out, bear in mind. But apart from that, the, the, the effect is like, it's not like using a tone control. It's not like using anything else. It really is cool to play with. Let's uh, now go on to the delay engine. And there's, there's absolutely loads you can do with this. Way too much to go through on this video. But basically, it's really sophisticated. You've got absolutely loads of options to play with. And there's so many that we've kind of created a big list of presets just to give you some ideas about what you can do. Let me just choose one of the short sounds first. And then that's going to be easier to demonstrate it. So you've just got kind of like standard ones. That kind of like really standard delay sound that you're, you're kind of expecting. And then you've got some more interesting ones. All the way up to like these really massive kind of like they're not delay anymore. It's kind of like halfway between delay and reverb. And if you choose one of these sounds like uh, this one here and put on one of these, let's choose another one. So many different ways to change the sound using the delay engine and with these other controls and things that you've got as well as all these textural sliders it really is like an electric piano that can kind of be really like traditional and classic and vintage style all the way up to much more of a modern sounding synth like sound uh, or just combining the two as well so with the presets we've got some of these combinations between like the kind of the, the electric piano sound and the textures as well so let's choose one of these So that's it, absolutely loads of different ways to combine the sounds, all the way from sort of more traditional, classic, vintage style electric piano sounds, all the way up to much more modern day synth-like sounds and dozens and hundreds of different ways to combine all these sounds to create your own stuff. That's what we always want you to do is get these instruments and put them, your own spin on them, take them in their own direction. We give you a starting point, we give you some amazing sounds, and then you take them and do exactly what you want with them, put your own character and personality in there and take them into some new spaces. That's our aim anyway. So that's it. If there's anything more you want to know, as always, drop it in the comments and we'll get back to you. But apart from that, I really hope you enjoy it and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.